Hi everybody, it's me, Jordan here, and I don't know about you, but today I'm going to talk about something that, uh, you ever been in one of these situations where, well, you'll be talking, I guess, loud enough to be, to be heard, but there will be one person who, even though you might be in the same room with them, or you even might be right beside them. They either will not hear anything you say or if they do they will misinterpret half of this whole content of the sentence. Now I know people are going to, now you can make an argument okay if you're in a car and the radio is on or if you have the television on or radio would say then you could make the argument. But these are people that, even if there is nothing running that would be a hearing extraction to them, these people cannot, it's called multitasking hearing. Well, I don't know exactly what it's called. But some people have the ability to multitask and some don't as far as hearing and listening is concerned. So you usually end up finding yourself either repeating yourself or saying, uh, or speaking or saying, hey, that's not what I said. It'll be like this. Well, I should have the rent will be ready next month. What's going to be fall in the next month? Rain the next month? No, I mean I have the rent the next month. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood what you said. Hey, that's okay. I guess it happens to everybody. Now, some people, now, that might happen with everybody every once in a while. Somebody might say something. Somebody misinterprets what they say. Um... They might not hear them all the time. Now that happens from time to time. Now there are some people. I'm not going to mention any names, but there are some people out there that suffer from this all the time. Where no matter how loud your voice is, no matter if there isn't any any if there's not a television or radio playing or running, and if there isn't anything that would be a hearing extraction to them, you know, sometimes. No matter what, these people are going to say that they didn't hear you or they're going to miss up the sentence. Now, you could say, you could make an argument that if you're dealing with people of hard of hearing. Now, that's a whole different video for a whole different day. I'm talking about people who don't suffer from any hearing conditions that, that they're aware of or I'm aware of. I'm just saying it happens. I could be talking like right now. And which say the webcam recorder can be picking up everything I'm saying and the microphone. And then somebody might watch the video and say, oh, I didn't hear what you said. So you know how that happens. I'll be like, what I meant to say was, is that I have the rent ready next month. I don't know how you got rain and rent confusing. You know, both words begin with R, but they both sound completely different. I don't know how I misinterpreted that one, but somehow that's what I heard. You know, that's how it's like, Jordan says. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure people try their best. And if people didn't care about, didn't care about you, I guess they wouldn't say they didn't understand. But, you can, this would be real funny. Now, before I end this video, Jordan said, there will be this one person. Now, you can be heard and understood by a whole group of people. School, work, church, mosque, synagogue, whatever. I don't know. Pick any live or any social place, whatever. Um, and there will be one person that will not be, will say, can, that will either miss up your sense, misunderstand what you say or not hear you at all. When everybody else, and those places fill in the blank. Here you just fine, you know. And well, of course, people are going to have they have ex legitimate excuses, you know, television, radio that's playing or something. But when neither of them are playing, and you happen to be in the same room with them, then you know you got a problem. But that's a different story for a different day. I'm Jordan. I'll see you later.